Welcome to the StockMatter.com studio here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your Stock Matter, Brian Johnson, making professional trading simple. And we did have drops today in the markets overall. So anything broken, can we start to get a little bearish? Well, the answer is potentially yes. Still wanted to give it one or two days. Today we did see a little bit of a, of a drop, but I would consider it more of a consolidation tomorrow. Let's see uh, what happens with uh, this support that we're sitting at down here. As you can see on the Dow 60 minute, we're right down here to this 10,825, 10,850 area. And you can see where that goes back and it has held very nicely so far as lower support. Does appear like we're getting maybe a little bit tired down here. We might start to move back up. Watch closely to see if 1050 holds on a retest in the next day or two if we make it. We did get below the 50 day today, but did not close there. So, still a little wary based on the fact that Google was talking about the 50 day moving average and will we make it and will we not and everything else that goes with that. So, I will wait to see if we get a close below the 50-day moving average. Then we've got something else to kind of crow about. However, if you got in at 10,950, uh, you still have been making money. Not much. We're only down about 100 points. I honestly was looking for some more selling to come in if and when we broke that area because we have not broke that area. Uh, to any great extreme, we're only, we're only, you know, away, or about 90 points away from it. Uh, I'm still not convinced that this is a bigger move by the bears. We are pulling back, though, getting closer to reaching this bigger overhead, or uh, this bigger support here, which was overhead resistance here. Here again, held the support, moving up, pulling back. This would be a very logical place to see hit on any second break of this 50-day moving average in the Dow. Most of the charts look the same way. NASDAQ, look at it on its big move down. Started down here and came up. So it made a run most of the day. You can start to see things kind of look, well, I know we've got a chance here where if we can get back above this 1970 level which is putting in very strong overhead resistance at this point break up over here could get us right back into this 1990-ish area and the bulls may be trying to sneak it back up again once again i am looking at maybe a one two three this is maybe a four here before a five up uh, I do think now that this up here, if, if this is a 1, 2, 3 for you Elioticians out there, 1, 2, 3, I do think this was the end of 3. I don't believe this is 4 of 3. I think this would be the, the bigger 4 at this point. Now we'd be looking at maybe a 5 left to come. So we could see an ABC correction here. We'll see if it goes any deeper. Any further drop down here, notice how this really had to struggle to get back up above that 50-day moving average. Any continued weakness down here, and I think this 1900 area gets hit. You can see these levels here. Look at this strong overhead resistance. Broken here, coming back for a retest. I would absolutely expect us to stop, pause, break something at this level. And DX on a weekly, look at this, the infamous blue line. So here's the second blue line we've been watching, looking for breaks and ultimately closes below this area. If we can get that, then maybe the bears have something to start talking about. We'll see where this closes. Now we're coming into Thursday, Friday. We've seen a lot of movement at, towards the end of the weeks. That could mean any direction. Just because we've been heading down all week doesn't mean we don't head down deeper by the time this whole move is over. Ultimately, my target would then be down here at the 20-week moving average, 1895-ish or so on the NASDAQ. SPX on the 60-minute looking like all the other ones are making kind of trying to make a bull flag out of this, but so far holding nicely down here for the bears. A move down of almost eight points today gives it a little bit of a run. And you can see it closing below the 50-day, showing us you know, quite a bit of weakness here. We've got one close now below this 50. I'm going to give, really, I'm going to give the bulls till the end of the week to get back above this 50. Otherwise, it could be pretty serious here overall, bigger picture, 
for the Bulls. I did uh, look at anything below about the 1178, 1175 area to take us down to this 1150-ish area. So for those of you that took that along with me and got short up here in this area, good. Be holding on to that and see if we can get back down into this 1150 and touch this overhead resistance now becoming potentially support. I just wouldn't expect that we would slice through it. I would expect to pause a break of something at this at this point down here. Any hard break below this on the first attempt would show a lot of bearishness in the markets. So a close below the 50 for the SPX. Now, once again, a couple days I'm gonna I'm just gonna give the bulls just a little bit of time to get this thing back up. Otherwise, I think the bears can can do more damage with this. Uh, ultimately, I'm really looking at that 1150 area. I love that for a lower support. From a weekly standpoint, also showing weakness in getting below this blue line. Here is that 1150 area. Here we are coming down towards it, trying to get near it. You can see we had a low of 1158 so far this week. That happened today. And you can see we, as we approach this 1150, things start to bounce a little bit already as people kind of front run that area. But I'm watching hard at that 1150 and really watching to see if we get a close below this big blue line by the end of the week. VIX on a daily up again, four and a half percent. So we are certainly with this bounce up, bounce down, bounce up, bounce down. I said there's a lot of kind of confusion within the markets right here showing us that fear is isn't is isn't coming back into the markets definitely is now starting to come back into the markets two breaks above 23 staying above 23 shows us a lot of fear has come in the last two weeks to the current market so we have to wait obviously two days left this whole thing could come crashing back down and finish at these lower levels so we'll wait to see where the weekly candle closes but at this point it's uh, suffice to say that over the last few days even in from last week we are seeing fear return to the markets again more fear means lower prices 